A five-year-old boy is in critical condition tonight after being shot on Farnell Drive last night in Mobile. The man accused of firing multiple shots into a car that little boy was in is spending the night in jail. Police charged 21-year-old Reginald Pryor with four counts of attempted murder, shooting into an occupied vehicle and violating probation. Pryor has previously been charged with second-degree assault and multiple counts of shooting into an occupied vehicle. NBC 15's Laura Barcheski has been following this heartbreaking story since last night. Laura, neighbors are sick of the violence. Andrea, they really are. Neighbors tell me dealing with gun violence in their neighborhood is nothing new to them. Neighbors say they're upset and frustrated after a five-year-old boy was shot in a car in this driveway at the corner of Farnell and Chevalier Drive last night. Thank the Lord that the little boy survived. You know, my prayers goes out to the family. Michael Thomas says the neighborhood is full of kids and it was only a matter of time before someone got hurt. Especially in this area, you want to try to keep an eye on them. Try to keep them close by you because whatever's going on, which nobody knows, you know, whatever's going on, it may be the next, you know, your kid may be the next one or you may be the next one. Other neighbors I spoke with who would not go on camera for safety reasons say the gun violence is out of control and other homes have been hit by stray bullets. Oh, you know, it just shots by, you know, all you can do is just get on the floor, just drop, drop down to the floor. I mean, you know, kind of used to it, but, you know, I just go ahead about my bed and just pray to pray to not come through the window and strike one of my family members. Thomas says he tries to be as safe as possible and doesn't leave his home at night. When a kid is involved, that's the worst of, uh, of anything, you know. You don't want any violence, but it's just law violence. Just, we just really need to just stay prayed up and ask for it to come to a minimum. And if it could come to a stop, that would be lovely, but we all know that violence is never going to come to a stop. The investigation is still ongoing. If you have any information, you're asked to call Mobile Police. Andrea.